Well, here we are one more time. We're working on our color wheel, which is one of our elements of art, that being color. And as you can see that we have worked on the primary colors in this wheel, red, yellow, and blue. Now, if you have paint at home, I suggest that you get three more colors. That would be red. No, I'm sorry. Orange. Purple. And green. Now that's if you're using marker and crayon. But if you have paint, let's try using our primary colors to mix okay so i don't know where you have your paints you might have them on a paper plate you can get a second paper plate and mix the colors or you can mix them over here on this side of your paper and just put a dab of red okay and then a dab of yellow and then you can mix them what is going to go between red and yellow if I take these two colors and I move them to this pizza slice together and I mix them, yes, of course, it's going to be orange. Okay, very simple. I'm going to color this pizza slice now. Remember to kind of turn your marker on its side, especially if it's running out of ink, and you should be able to, to get a little bit more ink inside of that tip. I remember, I did this last time. See the tip? I want my tip to stay nice and pointed. That's why I turned it on its side. I don't want to lose my tip. Okay, so if you're using paint, you might want to use a little bit more yellow than you do red, because red, red's a little bit more dominant. So if it ends up becoming a real reddish orange, you might have to add a little bit more yellow. Okay, so there's my orange. If someone tell me blue and yellow. What are we going to get, blue and yellow? Yes, it's going to be a green color. Now, this is a fairly light green, so it would have more yellow in it, but for the purposes of this color wheel, uh, this is the only color of green that I have. So, it, it's going off fairly dark. So I don't have to worry about it. But if you're, if you're using paint, you do have to worry about it. And you have to be concerned because... If you use way too much blue in your mix, it's gonna it's gonna dominate the yellow, and it might you'll see green in it, but it might be so bluish green that it really won't be a, a nice color of green. So make sure you add just a little dot of blue to your yellow and then you should have a nice nice color of green all right lost you for a minute there sorry so now we're back and uh, we're coloring away Trying to get our green in our pizza slice What's something that is green that would go on a pizza? Yes, peppers. Ha <laughs> ha, I love peppers. What's something red that would go on a pizza? Yeah, salami or pepperoni. Anything blue go on a pizza? No, no way. Okay, so our last one's going to be what? <clears throat> what color? Yes, 
Point bowl. So we're going to get the edge of our <clears throat> pizza slice. Sorry about my the th little frog in my throat. Doesn't want to go away today. That is when you get a little older. Body doesn't work quite the same, so just doing the best I can. Like I told you in my first video, I'm not very good at these, so but I'm getting a little better. But this is teaching, folks. Always something that you have to overcome in teaching. Now, hopefully, you got a sibling at home that. You can teach this color wheel too, or they can help you with mixing of the paints. I know a lot of you uh, like to mix paints, play in paints, but do me a favor. Try not to get it on the floor or the wall at home.